Hello and welcome everyone to this Warcraft replay. This is going to be the second game of this best of three series. Undead versus human matchup. On the bottom right we have Rising Stars Thoe who is going to be spawning as the teal undead player. And on the top left we have DKH sub Sonic who is going to be spawning as the orange human player. And... Well, I usually hate the first few minutes because it's pretty much... Um, the same thing over and over again unless we have some kind of different uh, build order for I guess I don't know anything or just an interesting hero selection I really there's not really much diversity in either way um, I'll just talk about game one what happened in game one well subsonic took took a I guess interesting path um, he usually Usually human players doesn't go casters riflemen as it's really really hard to I guess sustain or uh, support yeah support that army with a one base which is pretty much what Subsonic went for um, Archmage versus Death Knight probably yes it is so it looks like it's going to be the same opening we also see a graveyard being placed down right there. Um, Okay, so Subsonic, he took a risk in not going for an expansion, but at the same time, he that was pretty much a safe play. Um, however, I think towers would have really, especially a lot of towers, um, maybe Infi style towers, not Infi, wow. Well. Um, oh, who was it? Hawk style? No, it's Yumiko style, I think. Um, either way, just mass, mass towers would have actually saved his expansion if he actually chose to um, go for one so yeah I think the risk reward for an expansion is much more worth it than just one basing go for a rifleman and casters I guess um, <clears throat> and just his opponent attack. just had a better uh, composition really crypt fiends, abominations and destroyer statues they were just it's just such a well-rounded co uh, composition especially with this, those destroyers that can easily just shut down those casters um, and the elementals from the archmage, really. <clears throat> okay. Wow, those peasants can actually slip through the trees? I'm actually very surprised about that. By the way, I think we had a death coil on that peasant, but we'll not be able to kill it as these skeletons look to actually clean up and there we go probably 25 experience on that death knight and yes indeed arcane tower has finally been finished and will force these skeletons to retreat this these skeletons will probably give level 2 on that archmage and yes it does uh, ring, a t ring protection plus 2 from that previous creep camp and these ske uh, skeletons were cleaned up Okay, so far though, not having, I guess, the similar success that he had in the previous game. Um, players forces are under attack. I mean, he dealt so much damage to, his arch to the opponent's Arch Mage, like, very quickly, so maybe this might not be the case. Either way, Subsonic is going to clear out this green keep creep camp, hopefully, before that Death Knight comes in and gets in range with that Death Coil. And it looks like Death Knight is just waiting slowly, slowly. Um, the Archmage is trying to push him away. Th I'm not sure if Death Coil will be used on these poachers, but um, the Brute is pretty much the main importance right there. The Brute will be taken down with no, I guess, pressure. So both players are going to go for Tier 2. Though, did start his a little bit earlier. Well, not a little bit, just way earlier. Um, then his opponent, he is going to get out two Crypt Fiends in the field. And number three is moving on out very, very soon. More Ziggurats being placed down, though it does have quite a bit of resources available. Uh, probably just saving up for that Slaughterhouse and Lich. Or maybe possibly just a straight jump to tier three. By the way, is that a blacksmith? That's a blacksmith once again going to be placed down for Subsonic, so kind of surprised that he's still going for those riflemen. Um, to be honest, I really have no objection with riflemen. They do, I guess, 
just as good as these griffins, or possibly better. Uh, probably, I'm, I'm not sure. Just griffins just bring so much to the table already. They don't have range upgrades. They're or they're already 550 range. Um, they deal probably the most piercing damage out of all tier one units. Um, what else? They're normal, so they take quite a bit from these footmen, but yeah, when it comes to casters, they will do reduced, um, they will take reduced damage. What else? Crypt Fiends can autocast web, they can burrow in the ground and have extra regeneration. Just so much. They bring a lot of, a lot of things. The way DK looks like he stole a health stone from that troll warlord, so that's going to be additional one hit point per second regeneration. And this Crypt Fiend will be able to be healed back up with a death call. Very nicely done. Level 2 finally on that death knight, and it looks like he will get even more experience from this elemental. And a lich is going to be popping out as well. Most likely a Mount King for Subsonic, and yes he is. Rifleman also uh, being trained up. Will we see more? Yes, we are going to see more, but we're also going to be seeing an Arcane Sanctum. It looks like Tho is going to clean this creep camp right back. And... I mean, to be honest, this is pretty much Tho's creep camp. He just... He just prevented his opponent from stealing it. Um... I really, really can't comment on anything else. Um, obsidian statues are being made. Maybe another ziggurat. Oh, it looks like Tho did get that ziggurat down just in time, and he will maybe make more crypt fiends. I'm not sure. He does have 11 food supply um, free. Okay, Noel Overseer will be taken down, and is going to be a plus three ring, so. I eh, don't like that at all, but oh well. Level 2 on both the Undead Heroes. Mountain King has been, I guess, freshly trained. Surprisingly, he didn't get that experience. I'm. He wasn't that far away from the Archmage. Either way, Archmage did reach to level 3, and level 2 elementals have been trained up. Lesser Clarity Potion also going to be picked up. Oh, Archmage engaging, engaging that creep camp. Um, but it looks like Subsonic's going to take quite a bit of damage in his main base. A lot of Crypt so far for Tho. Was able to take down that Arcane Tower and four Skeletons will be able to uh, slip in and deal a lot of damage. Militia will be needed to be, or uh, will be called. Um, and will they chase away this undead army? I'm not sure. We are not having a TP being called in. We're just going to have the old fashioned way just running back. And I'm not sure if I like that at all, as pretty much Subsonic's going to lose um, quite a bit before he's able to defend his base. Hell, maybe even uh, not be able to take a single unit down. Either way, this Crip... <sighs> not Crip, I mean this Footman will be taken down. Death Knight did reach level 3. Nova Core right there will take down a single Sorceress. And of course, Crypt Fiend's just doing so much damage to that MK, so just, just basic attacks, really. Um, <clears throat> another Priest will be taken down with the Nova Coil combination. Um, and yeah, Stormball's gonna stun that Crypt Fiend for quite some time, but the Death Coil will be able to be um, used on that single fiend, but he is slow, so he needs to be careful. We're going to go to tier 3 for Tho. He is, is under just attack. sitting on a lot of resources himself. We'll probably have destroyers very, very soon, and maybe Abomination to um, provide a lot of tanking support. Anyway, Nova Coil on that MK. MK will be forced to use that health stone that he had earlier. Um, unfortunately, it is the case. You would generally want to keep that as long as possible, but when the, I guess, circumstances, yeah, let's try again, holy crap, circumstances uh, come in, the MK will be forced to use an item like that. Close attack plus six has been stolen, jacked from that um, mount, 
Archmage, so the Lich will be able to be um, utilizing that uh, close attack. Single Crypt Fiend will be used as a Dark Ritual, so of course though just doing a very nice job denying his opponent experience and of course just bene uh, benefiting a little bit, a little bit from his, I guess, winded a units. Are under We're also going to be seeing a Crypt Lord as the third hero for Tho, which is actually a very, very interesting choice. Um, <clears throat> no, really, Crypt Lord, not sure how effective he will be. Um, his spikes usually take a ton of mana, so... Yeah, generally generally useless when he's out of mana. Um, scarabs, you know, they could be provided as Dark Ritual, but not as effective as the Dark Ranger herself. Um, and of course, spiked a player's forces are spiked armors, whatever it is, it's really no point in actually using it. We might have spikes for that additional DPS and stun, but I don't know. It's just... Eh, I won't comment on it. Gloves of Haste has been picked up. He is a, he is an interesting hero, isn't he? Very, very weird as well. I, I generally didn't like him at all in the campaign. Either way, this Red Creep Camp... Not Red. Wow. Orange Creep Camp is going to be challenged. And will this Red Drake drop anything interesting? Usually... Um, it could be a double attribute item, it could be a summon token, or it just could be an aura item. It's going to be a Sobi Mask, so it's going to be an advanced item right there. Additional 50% mana regeneration, very nicely on that Mountain King. Okay, it looks like Tho will be able to be chased away from this creep camp, and maybe if he engages, he might be able to do something. I mean, he can easily engage right now, he has... Uh, three heroes that can do a lot of damage. They will that spiked, stunning those riflemen and of course taking them away from DPS for quite some time. DK will probably be forced to use that health stone as well or a TP. Mountain King will be taking down level two and health stone has been used. Another spike taking four units, stunning them for quite some time and a frost nova right there. However, scroll of healing has been used to uh what is that rectify the damage dealt. Peasants will be turning back from their militia form and these destroyer or this destroyer will absorb something that what is that sound what is that sound that was like a very weird ghoul sound is it this guy oh it's probably this guy because he has his spikes now um, very interesting I didn't notice that they actually have graphic so spikes and spiked armor so that's an interesting ability combination either way um, uh, subsonic just not looking very good himself at all these units are currently scattered subsonic not sure if he's actually trying to expand or just build some towers for support I'm not sure wow this crypt fiend crypt no, Crypt no, Crip Lord, just dealing a lot of damage as well as taking a lot himself. There we go with another spike. You can see how much mana it actually takes, which is kind of insane just for, I guess, a line of stun and damage. By the way, he's, wow, well, he's very quick to level 3 as well, so I'm not sure if he's just an effective hero or just those just very good as an undead uh, player. Ah. I just... Yeah, vocab vocabulary just sucks today. Either way, hopefully you guys enjoyed this series. And, I don't know. I'll probably cast WEL very soon. I'll see you guys next time.